Sarah Socal Garden. I am here today to share with you a second garden haul and this is mainly going to be consisting of seeds. I got a whole stack of seeds right here. I was just telling my mom I think I have a problem because I can't cannot stop buying seeds and this is funny because I was like I said in another video I was really scared to start things from seed and now all I want to do is just buy seeds because I just love the whole process of sowing a seed and watching it sprout and watching it grow and get bigger and give fruit. It's really rewarding. So anyways, enough babbling. I'm just going to go ahead and jump into the haul. Before I show you guys the seeds, I'm going to show you a couple of little knickknacks that I got while I was at Home Goods. Is this really, really cute um, garden apron and trowel gift set. I didn't get this as a gift, although this would be great for any gardener in your life. I know Valentine's Day is coming up, so this would be absolutely perfect for that gardener in your life that you would love to give this to. And it's called the Peony Garden Apron and Trowel Set. And this is from the brand Michelle Design Works. Um, I'm sure you can find this on Amazon. And this was priced at $9.99 and would originally be $24. So I really like the garden apron because it has a bunch of different pockets and it comes with the shovel because I recently just broke one of my shovels trying to dig into my clay soil so this is great so the next two things I got are decorations and I love little decorations around the garden I just think little you know touches here and there it makes it feel like your own special garden and these two really caught my eye while I was in the store and they're called pot critters and in while they move and the wind will hit them they'll look like they're actually moving and all they do is they just hang on to a pot and I think they're absolutely beautiful they have this really really beautiful like glass stained window design and I just think that they're just gorgeous they were on sale for $3.99 a piece so I got one in this color combination and then I got another one in this color combination. It'll add a nice little touch to the garden. You know, spring is pretty much here. So the next part of this haul is going to include all of the seeds that I got. And I got quite a bit of seed. And I'm so excited because I went to a special garden center store called, called Armstrong. We have these garden centers here in California. I'm not sure you might want to look on the internet um, if they have any in your area, but I like this garden center because they have specialty seeds that I can't normally find at a Home Depot or Lowe's, so that is, that's why I went to Armstrong because they carry a variety of heirloom seeds at a very reasonable price. And I can just walk in there and, and, and pick out the ones that I want. They have a whole wall of seeds, I'll show it in my vlog. Um, but yeah, I love this store. And they even had so many starter plants. They had cucumbers, they had melons, they had tomatoes, they had peppers and chilies. They had all kinds of good stuff. I, I was, <laughs> it took a lot of self-control for me not to get any of those, those six packs of the starters because I'm gonna challenge myself this year and I'm gonna start a lot of my summer garden from seed. First thing that I got is this tomato pole Cherokee purple. It's a USDA organic seed. And it says that Cherokee's rose purple skin with green shoulders encases red brick colored flesh with just the right level of sweetness. You'll be harvesting large numbers of 10 to 12 ounce tomatoes from this well-regarded heirloom variety from summer to fall. And it says warm season 80 days from transplanting after last chance of spring frost. And this cost $2.39 for 30 seeds. So that is more expensive um, than some of the other seeds that I'll be showing you next. The next tomato that I got is a green zebra, and this is a breeder's work of art. Green zebra has excellent flavor and unique color, rich golden green with forest green stripes, very smooth skin, essentially free of cracks, about three inches and three ounces. And it says it takes about five to 10 days to emerge after sown. And again, this costs $2.39 for 20 seeds. So, um, and again, this is a USDA organic um, grade seed. 
and it says Tom Wagner bred this unique fruit from heirloom parents for sweet, not too acidic, well-balanced flavor. It says that this is crack resistant and tomatoes often crack when um, there is a lot of moisture or they're getting rain too much or there's a you're, you're getting rain too much in the area or if you're watering too much and then you get a sudden heat wave and that causes the tomato to crack and it says that this is crack resistant so we're going to definitely test that out. The next thing that I got is a um, tomato cherry gardener's delight. This is a very very popular um, type of cherry tomato and I am a lot of the UK gardeners that I actually watch, Sean James Cameron, um, BB's Kitchen Garden, um, they seem to be growing this. So I wanted to try it and it, it only costed me $1.89 for 30 seeds. So I think that's a really good deal. Um, and it says, um, these bite sized delightfully sweet flavorful fruits are also crack resistant, which is great. And yeah, I'm so excited to try these out. The next thing that I got is this um, summer squash. It's a summer squash and it's called the Scallop Patty Pan Blend. And this is so beautiful. I love the little drawings that they do on the packages here. And these seeds are all from the brand called Botanical Interest. I'm sure you can find them on Amazon. Uh, I'll try to find a link so I can link it down below for you guys. And it says, if you love summer squash, you won't be able to get enough of this colorful blend of scallop types. Pretty enough to display in a bowl on your kitchen counter. Early white bush and golden scallops are Native American heirlooms, dating back hundreds of years. So I love uh, patty pan squash. They taste delicious and they're beautiful. And I plan to enter these into the, the county fair. The next thing that I got is this squash and it's a butternut squash, but this is the Walt Ham Butternut and it costs $1.89 for four grams, which is, I think that's pretty good. I absolutely love butternut squash. It says it takes 100 days for it to be fully developed. So after last chance of spring frost, this is a um, all American selections winner. So I think it's AAS, so that is great. Next thing that I got, which I'm gonna be sewing really soon, is this American flag leaf and leeks need to be sown now especially since it's getting hot we are today is february 7th so these need to be sown as soon as possible it says sow in spring or late summer and this leek cost 169 for 1.5 grams i've never grown leeks before so this should this is going to be a first for me i'm not expecting spectacular results so if i get anything i'll be really happy Next thing that I got, I'm really excited because I've never grown anything like this before, and that is the winter squash called Blue Hubbard. I think that's how you say it, Blue Hubbard. And this was $1.99 for three grams, and it says this heirloom can be traced back to 1800s Massachusetts. The a bountiful flesh has a rich flavor that is perfect for baking, roasting, soups, and pies. It may be used as a substitute for pumpkin in many recipes. So if you're allergic to pumpkin or you just don't like pumpkin maybe try this this squash out and you might like the way that this tastes i'm so excited to try this um, i just love the way squash looks in the garden it makes it look really lush and really full so excited for this as well four more seeds to show you and then that'll be the end of this haul so the next thing that i got is actually a tom it's this is a tomato and this is called the speckled roman tomato and it says a cross between antique Roman and banana legs. This unique Roma will wow you with orange and yellow stripes. It not only looks extraordinary, it's a first rate performer in the garden and in the kitchen. So I'm so excited. This is actually a USDA organic seed and this was $2.39 for 30 seeds, which is pretty pricey, but you get 30 seeds and they are organic, which is great. If I can get organic seeds, I, I like to get organic. And there was a lot of organic seeds that they have at Armstrong Garden Center. So if you really like organic seeds, I rec highly recommend going to Armstrong and seeing uh, the selection that they have. The next thing that I got is a eggplant. And this is the long purple eggplant. And eggplant is a king of summer vegetables in Japan. This long slender purple variety is both attractive and flavorsome. So outside two to four weeks after your average last frost date, 
when the soil temperature is at least 70 degrees. So I might wait to sow these until March. Look at the eggplant. It's, isn't it just gorgeous? I really hope I get some success with that. Next thing that I got is a melon. And this is the musk melon cantaloupe called Hearts of Gold. And this cost $1.99 for one gram. It's an heirloom variety with an old fashioned sweet flavor. This 1890s favorite still wins taste test. A short season summer treat, homegrown melons can't be beat. That's cute, it rhymes. And this is a USDA organic seed. So, Yes, I've tried growing melons before. I've never been successful. So if you guys have been successful with melons and have any tips or tricks, please let me know in the comments below. Anything will help me because I am so eager to get at least one melon. The next thing that I got is another squash variety and this is a summer squash called the Baby Round Zucchini. And these are so cute! I've always wanted to grow these so finally I got myself some seeds and this was $1.79 for 3 grams. And it says five to ten days to emerge after sowing. Discover this tasty little round zucchini known by the French for generations as Rhone de Nice. I don't know, meaning round from nice. Especially suited for stuffing or as individual serving soup bowls, but delicious in any way summer squash is used. The blossoms are scrumptious fried. It says this packet sows seven to eleven mounds. If you sow zucchini directly in the ground, you, have, you make a little mound. So when you water it, um, the water stays more towards the plant roots. And yeah, this is, I'm really excited for this. I am gonna be getting a lot more different types of uh, zucchini varieties. I'll be showing you guys what varieties those will be. And so that is it for this garden haul number two. Thank you guys for watching. Um, those of you ha that have subscribed, thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I really appreciate that. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time.